Hi everybody, it's your girl Nell. Welcome to the Tiny Studio. How are you doing? You're going to notice that there are a few differences going on because um, the Tiny Studio is currently under construction. So we're going to try a little something else, something different for, you know, maybe a few episodes until I can get this um, get some things together here in a tiny studio, but I've been away for a little bit and I want to apologize for that, but I am going to explain to you exactly why I've been away, but most importantly, I want to share some information with you that is news that you can definitely use in your life. Now, as I have said before, here in the tiny studio, um, my husband is currently ill with cancer. But what I did not get into is the specifics. So without um, being without being too much of a Debbie Downer here in the tiny studio today. I just want to give you a little bit of information about what's going on here. My husband was diagnosed with stage stage three invasive ductile ductal breast cancer, and um, we got the diagnosis in late October. So he's been undergoing uh, chemotherapy and um, and a little holistic um, things that I am um, assisting him with and lately he's been um, he's been going through you know a lot of pain and so my focus has been on helping him deal with the side effects of the chemotherapy and also helping him manage his pain so as a caregiver um, I really haven't had a lot of time to do some things for myself and I am a grad student at this time and so I had to put um, I had to put my education my uh, higher education aspirations on hold just a little bit and some of the things that I'm doing here in a tiny studio I've been doing them you know maybe late 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 at night when um he is able to rest and so it's 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 you know it's a lot to go through but my thing is i want to focus totally on you know making sure my hubby is comfortable and making sure that he's cared for nurtured and loved and that's one of the reasons one of the main reasons why I haven't been here in the tiny studio as much as I have in the past however I have learned that to be a really good caregiver I have to also take care of myself so I am um, doing some things to get back to being the nail that I was before this um, tragic diagnosis because I want to, you know, you have to take care of yourself. It's something that, you know, when you're on an airplane, if you've ever flown before um, on an airplane, if you've ever been on an airplane, you notice that you know, the, I don't even think if we call them the flight attendants, you know, they will tell you that if something's going on to put your oxygen mask on first and then help the person that's sitting next to you, because it's really important that you take care of you. And so that is what I've been doing, um, attempting to do is to make sure that I am taken care of emotionally and, and 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 spiritually and all physically and all of those things which has been very very difficult as a caregiver but I've been trying to do that more today I have on I have on drag so you know I'm feeling pretty good today and taking a little time out for nail what I want to also say to you is that, did you know that less than perhaps 1% of the U.S. population 
of the U.S. male population is diagnosed with breast cancer. When we think of breast cancer, we automatically think of you know, women. We think of ourselves. We think of females. We're very much in tune as women to breast cancer. But what I've learned, but what I already knew was that men can be diagnosed and afflicted with breast cancer as well. And the first time that I ever heard of a man being afflicted with breast cancer was when um, Richard Roundtree came out some years ago with that, with his diagnosis. And I remember reading about it in Ebony Magazine. And I remember listening to him speak about it in several interviews about his battle with breast cancer and the diagnosis and all of those things because you don't automatically go when you say breast cancer you don't automatically think of a man which we should now I understand we always think of us as women but one percent of the population the male population in this country will be diagnosed with breast cancer Now, for me, being that this was in the back of my mind, I always emphasize to my husband, and I've really been ramping it up with my sons, to be vigilant in checking your breasts, doing breast exams. For what I told my husband, and this is how he was he found, you know, this is how he discovered that he, um, that there was a lump in his breast is that if you're in a shower, if your husband or your boyfriend or your son is in a shower, teach them how to give themselves, um, how to examine their chest area or their, uh, mam- mammary glands or their breast. Teach them how to give themselves breast exams teach them the signs that they should look for if they um the signs that they should look out for that um may need medical attention um my husband likes to um lift weights he's a weightlifter and so he noticed that something was wrong while he was weight training and he came home and he asked me, he did a, a breast exam and then he asked me to do a breast exam. And I could feel, then I could feel what he felt. And when he went to the doctor, his um, primary care doctor, the doctor told him that he probably burst a vessel or something or inside of his breast. Now, this is what I want to say to you because perhaps we could have received the diagnosis of breast cancer last year. I mean, I should say not last year in 2021. However, we listen to our doctor. What you should do is request a mammogram. So if you are a man and you discover a lump in your breast, request a mammogram. Get it checked out. Get it tested immediately. Don't wait around. Because it could be nothing. And then again, it could be something. And that's what we learned. As time progressed, my husband began to realize that this this is not healing. This is not a burst blood vessel. Sometimes it bothers me, is what he was saying. Um, And then to our horror, things began to happen that are the symptoms of breast cancer. One of those symptoms is when the lump becomes begins to grow. Another symptom is when your nipples begin to change 
or they begin to invert. That's one of the signs that something really serious is going on. So we were able to find, I should say, three physicians or primary doctors. Later, the third doctor listened to my husband and suggested that he undergo a series of tests. And those tests revealed what my husband is suffering from, which is stage three ducto invasive or invasive ducto cancer, breast cancer. So if you are a woman and you have men in your life, young men, older men, middle-aged men, really, really stress to them the importance of examining their breasts, the importance of noticing, noticing, noticing <laughs> the changes in their breasts. If they feel that something is wrong, encourage them to see a doctor. Don't wait around. Don't allow a physician or a medical professional to tell you that there's nothing wrong. Really, really, really stress and demand that you want your breasts to be checked out or you want your husband's breasts to be checked out, your sons, your fathers, your grandfathers, period. Get tested. That is very important. Just because men make up 1% of the population that has to struggle with and battle breast cancer doesn't minimize the importance of being an advocate or being, for me, being expressive about how important it is that we encourage male breast examinations. When we tell our, mo our mothers and our daughters and our sisters and our best friends to touch themselves, we want our men to touch themselves as well. And if they feel something in their breasts that's not right, that's out of the normal or out of the usual, encourage them to get tested. This is one of the most important things that I could ever share with you. It's more important than crocheting. It's more important than dreadlocks. It's more important than anything else that I could possibly talk about. Because this is about life survival, and death. So please encourage all the men in your life to do breast examinations. Show them how to do breast examinations. And also, be you are your best advocate. If you feel that something is not right and something is wrong, and you go to your doctor and they tell you, ah, oh, it's okay. And in your gut, you feel like it's not okay. You are your best advocate. Find another doctor. Demand testing. Don't wait. So that's what I've been doing and that's what's going on here in the tiny studio and outside of the tiny studio. I wanted to pass that information on to you and pray for my family, pray for my husband, pray for everyone that is dealing with breast cancer, everyone. And if you are 
are, are battling breast cancer at this time, my prayers go out to you as well. I was empathetic and compass had compassion for those who were struggling with breast cancer in the past. But now that I'm dealing with it, um, the caretaker of my husband who is battling breast cancer at this time, my heart go out to you. It really, really does. So before I get on here and, and start crying and all that other stuff, which I don't want to do. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting Simply Nails Tiny Studio, the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for supporting this, supporting my efforts and supporting my dreams. I really appreciate it. And um, when my husband sees me on, on TV, <laughs> when he's watching YouTube, he gets a kick out of it. So I'm not just here in the tiny studio talking um, to you because it's something that I enjoy. But my husband's watching too. And it makes him smile. And these days, smiles are everything. So thank you for watching Simply Nails Tiny Studio. And we're going to move on to something else. And I will see you next time here. See, now I'm crying. <laughs> but um, the next time you come to the Tiny Studio, we're going to talk about something else, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.